You know, this matter this appeal came up on the 27th of uh, April 2023 for hearing. First time it was mentioned in court. And the Supreme Court indicated the desire to hear this matter, this appeal expeditiously and gave a timeline within which parties to file their briefs. The government was given six days to file their brief maximum and also were given four days to respond. Then on the 2nd of um, May, being Tuesday, they filed and served us the appellate brief, amended appellate brief, which was 53 pages. Then uh, we discovered that that's above the threshold of number of pages briefs file, being filed in private and um, Supreme Court we, we contend. We have to raise them, that to the with them. And they quickly amended and filed a 40 page brief argument. Serve on us on Thursday. So apparently, the one they serve on us on Thursday is the regular one. So as of Thursday, they serve us with the amended appellate brief. They are time, they are out of time. They don't know who's standing. We file our responded brief and also serve them within the time given by the Supreme Court. So that was on Tuesday morning. Then today, they, they filed a motion for extension of time within which to regularize the, their own appellate brief, which was also deemed regular today. And I don't think they have reason to file a reply brief because issues they raised in their appellate brief, they raised seven issues for determination. And we joined issues on those issues they raised. We only responded to the issue. We didn't introduce new issues to issue the rules. However, we have an objection which was incorporated in our brief, challenging the competency of the appeal and also notice of appeal they filed. So these are not a separate document that's incorporated in our brief. In our brief. However, Supreme Court was, um, is of the view that they will not be shut out so that they will be obliged for that time to respond. They were, however, handicapped by the fact that even if they take any application today, be it bail application or motion or even the briefs, the, the appeal, they cannot be able to deliver ruling on any of this application or even judgment within 90 days, which is the threshold that provided under the constitution. So, and also concerning the fact that their docket is full, they now have to adjourn the matter to September 14th, 2023 for, for hearing. But principally, the conduct of the federal government, their inability to fight their responded brief, the appellate brief within time, and their inability to respond to, to, to our responded brief by way of reply brief, was actually what started, what started this proceeding. Because had it been the file that applied brief yesterday or two days ago, at least by today the appeal would have been, uh, would have been taken and a joint probably reserved for, for judgment.